Okay, so I'm going to be going over memory leaks and how they could physically kill your game. Um, so I click a native script here. It has a bunch of memory leaks in it. It creates an object, stores in a table. It's never being cleared at a table. So if you can see, if I run this script, right, uh, it's just going to spawn a bunch of parts. It's going to go up. And you can see this table count just forever and forever and forever increasing, right? And then if we look at the lure U heap, which is a great way to find uh, memory leaks, if you go to, so go to server, and then create a snapshot, and then it'll be in unique references. You can see it's just counting and counting and counting up. I'm going to create another snapshot. It's over a thousand now. And then this is going to completely stay in memory. It's never going to be cleared. It's never going to be removed. It's going to stay there forever. So your server's memory use is slowly and slowly and slowly going to increase. And then high memory use, um, high server usage can just be like, it could crash your server, kill your play time. So... Probably like after like what five ten minutes of this just being up, it's gonna crash this server, and then it's gonna kick out all the tired players of the game. They're gonna be like, "Hey, I'm not able to play this game. I'm gonna leave and never come back." Like I said, it could physically kill your game. So if I close this, I can show you quickly how to fix it. So as you can see, I'm storing the reference, right? I'm connecting an ancestry change, but if I just go over here to where it says to destroy, I could just do a for I and the object and the I create objects list. Object reference, sorry. Uh, we could do, and then we just do if the object. No, if the, sorry. If the object, right, is the new object that we just made, then we could just remove it from the table. Like a type. So that remove object references, and then it's going to be your eye. I guess eye is your object. Now, if we play, Updates. You can see it's staying at 179 consistent because we're clearing it out of memory because we really don't need it anymore. Once it's gone, clear it out of memory. And then I can show you another game too, which is really, really bad at memory leaks, right? But I want to go over my stats first for my game, which is the RNG Tycoon, because we had super, super, super bad memory leaks when we first started. You can see our server CPU uptime was crazy, our heart rate, our heartbeat started was like super bad. Then our server memory usage, you can see where we fix all the memory leaks and it dropped, but you can see how bad it was. It should not be getting this high. Um, the server memory by age, this is very, very important. You want it to stay below 100% on average. Um, but it was going over like 1,000 at one point. It was terrible. And it was physically killing our game. As you see, we have 350 people playing now. But whenever we had those massive memory leaks, it was only getting like 20, 30 players. It would really, really hold back your game from succeeding. Um, so I usually go based off the one day, seven day, or one hour set. Um, for example, after I push out an update, I'll go off the one hour and just watch these, make sure it stays low, and then I'm just like whatever, I got it. Look at the one day. But you see it's barely increasing; it's staying flat. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see like jump like a huge spike. Um, like. And then for this game, um, it's another game I developed on, but right, if we go here, create a snapshot, you can go here to unparents it out. Just, you can see this guy's never being cleaned up at function, um, at line 48 under service storage and HD admin. And then we could go here to unique references as well here. Okay. Uh, HD admin, of course. You. Here we go. So at line 44 on server script service and player setup, I know. The leak there. So it's probably creating a reference to a player object and never getting rid of it. Um, I would focus on fixing these two things in these tabs first, trying to get it as clean as possible. Um, the things on the client, like these are normal to see, like your animation tracks, these are just Roblox. Can't really do anything about those. See, this is really bad too. Yeah, pay attention to your client and server memory usage. And then under your graph, right? So you can see how game loop is using like a bunch of memory as is. Um, you could go here. The person that scripted this did not do this. And a function did not really use this up. memory usage. I know this for a fact. I'm going to group chat with them. It's properly set up and it stays in memory. Uh, but you can see like the exact line numbers that everything is happening at. Where the high memory usage is, how much memory is taking up. Um, 
but yeah, it's just super important to make sure that your memory usage is low. Dang. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully it's helped y'all. Hopefully it learns a lot. But just pay attention to that server memory usage. It's super important. But yeah, please be sure to like and subscribe and join the Discord server in our comment section if you have any questions.